Hey, what's up guys? It's Jiren. As I promised, I'm bringing you guys my video on how to survive longer than infected. After doing my whole series, Modern for 3 Infected Tips, and showing you guys all the hiding spots on all the maps, I decided to do this video to show you guys and explain to you guys general tips in infected that you can apply to hopefully win the game and be the last one standing. So for the first tip, always check your radar for the first 10 seconds. So there's a infection countdown timer on the screen that is I think between 8 or 10 seconds and basically after that time uh, the game automatically decides which guy is the first infected while well, by watching your mini radar for the first 10 seconds you can you can see who disappears nearby on the map and because it becomes an infected for example on this example look I'm checking the map and as soon as I see that my friend disappears I aim at him and I shoot him another example is here on Sea town it literally saved my life so I'm going to just check the radar pay attention to the radar and just stare at it for the first eight seconds and uh, as soon as I see that my friend behind me disappears from the map that means he's the first one infected and boom I turn around and I shotgun him so that will save your life a bunch of times trust me and if you can stare at the guy in front of you and already aim at him before the timer expires now the second tip set your claymore sideways this tip can be applied to all game modes but since in infected the classes are equipped with either C4s, Bouncing Betty's, or Claymores, I decided to include it in this video. So basically the tip is to never put the Claymore facing toward the direction where the infected, infected players come from. Why? Because the infected players only have a pistol on them, that means that they run faster than usually, and they will pass by your Claymore without even being hurt. So ideally the position you want to put it in is sideways, that way when the infected player passes by it, it will explode behind him and make him uh, fly in front and kill him. Uh, so here's another example in the interior of the dome. The player is running faster than usually so he's just gonna pass by the claymore and it's gonna damage him just a bit. But if I put it sideways like this, he will be killed since the explosion kind of follows him. You want to make sure that the explosion always follows the player where he goes. Now for the next tip, always move sideways when shooting infected players. This way it will be a lot, a lot harder for infected players to actually hit you with throwing knives since throwing knives are included in, included in all of the classes now in infected since the previous updates. As you can see now it's so easy to hit someone when he's still and prone, I mean a crouch or standing up. It's a bit harder when the player is actually prone since the volume of his body uh, is a bit lower so that's a bit better. and prone is also good when you're hiding in grass but it's still easy to the player so ideally the best thing to do is to just always move sideways when you shoot when you're shooting infected players and what's good about infected is that you have stalker on all classes so you will not get infected by the slow moving so here's the final example uh, my buddy Shulman is gonna move sideways and it, it is extremely hard to actually kill him since uh, I cannot predict where he is and predicting with a throwing knife is pretty darn hard. This other tip can be applied to all Call of Duties and all other game modes. Basically, you want to make sure to watch out for the length of your weapon when you're staying in a corner, aka camping. Uh, basically, a lot of players, a lot of noobish players forget that like their gun has a length and can pass by the corner and often when I kill a camper, it's because his gun is passing like the edge of the wall. So you want to make sure, like, uh, predict how long is your gun and make sure that it doesn't pass the corner of the wall. As you can see, I'm here camping in a corner and my buddy is going to see me because of the length of my gun. Let's watch the kill cam. And you see it passes a bit and uh, that's why he sees me. We all know it in Infected. Uh, it's basically a huge camping game and a lot of players what they do is instead of like controlling a certain location they just like to hide in grass or being camouflaged and often when I see them do this it's okay I have no problem with that since it's infected and it's the goal is to survive the longest but when you see someone pass by and you're hiding and being camouflaged just don't shoot unless you're the last one this way you will for sure be the last one to survive and basically you just don't want to draw attention to yourself uh, when you're camping and trying to survive till the end. Finally, my last tip is that when you're one of the last ones alive, try to find a spot where infected players come to you in a straight line. I tried explaining this in my Modern for 3 Infected Tips series 
and trying to show you guys spots that players will come in one direction. Why? Because it, first off, it's time consuming. Instead of aiming for each of them uh, directly, you can just aim at all of them at the same time. You don't really have to move your weapon and you might get collateral. So that will save you bullets and you will have more bullets in the end to kill the other players. So thanks guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. It really helps me. Peace out. Have a great day.